Hey guys, welcome back to Opimation. And for those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Opie. I'm an animator in the video game industry. And in today's video, it's going to be a short video on moving holes and kind of favoring different poses. And also how to use that where you can go from like one keyframe to another keyframe. And in, inside you've got a breakdown and maybe you would like one pose, we'd like to hold one pose earlier or later than the other. So little, little things and stuff that I've learned along the way that I use and I'll use the simple example of keyframe breakdown keyframe like we did with Depp in the previous videos and I'll just show you this little little thing that I do little I don't I wouldn't say trick just something I've done over the years and uh, hopefully it would be of some use to you guys too if, if you find it find it useful so let's dive in and I'll show you this uh, example here so for example we're using this Depp rig and I put a keyframe here and a keyframe here and a breakdown right now what do i mean by the favoring because sometimes when you do a jump you do a jump and i'll do an example of this as well uh, in, a, in another video where it jumps and you want to hold the apex so you do a pose on the floor and then you do a pose of the apex now you can this ex exercise here is showing you that you can pick a few frames before you hit the actual key pose so you can use that as a move in hold and then come down and get into your land position same thing with here for example so say if we got that key pose and we've got a breakdown in the middle here now from the break breakdown to the end pose we're like okay i've got all these frames to play with i want this end pose to hit quicker how can i do that while it's still holding because remember in cg if you just hit a pose and you don't have no moving holes the character doesn't feel alive it feels static it's, something feels wrong you can get away with get away with it in traditional and stop motion but in 3d it's it does, just doesn't look right when you just snap into a pose hold it unless you've got some secondary motion going there there are examples where most of the body is still but you've got the eye darts and maybe hand movements and what have you and little pre antics that happen but with this for example here we can be like okay the pose you're generally trying to hit which is the end one just go back a couple of frames and decide for yourself all right do you want this pose to have a do you want this holding pose to have a lot of movement in it or subtle if you want a lot then you go back a few frames so you'll be like all right from 33 to 40 there's a lot of movement so for example if i middle click select all the controls and middle click middle click this back to say 31 doesn't matter where but you've got a keyframe there now of that pose that was on 33 so what you can do is you can play around with this you can be like okay i want this pose to hit earlier so if i go to 26 so if you look now there's a bit more of a moving hold there right because there was a lot of movement so you might want that you might not want that and another another thing you can do is you can be like all right i want minimal movement so you can be like two frames before the end if you middle click that bring it back to 27 and keyframe there what it does is it grabs that pose that 38 and if you middle click it anywhere you want let go and press key it will paste it there in maya so if we look now it will hit the pose quicker and there won't be as much of a movement in the hold see and it's kind of going hitting back and forth which we don't want but we can sort that out but that's just an example that i was trying to show so if we go so if we do that again so that hits quicker right so what we can do is then once once we've got that we can use that as a basis so we can be like all right we can start i don't know moving this forward a bit. we can start maybe delaying the head so we can be like Okay, so we get the head and we could be like, all right, we can start going straight ahead now. So we can be like, drag the head back. And then that keyframe that we keyed everything on, we could even drag that, start dragging that forward and be like delaying that now. So there, right? So we could start delaying that. And then we can start and if we don't like that, we can come back here, select individual. So we can select the head and we can be like, all right, I don't like the head like that. So we can delete that. We can be like, all right, we'll just middle click that back to 32. Then we get more of like 
a softer head turn, right? Now, what you can do is you can start delaying even the chest area. So you can go back in here. You could be like straight ahead, just all right, maybe I want the chest to be a bit delayed. And then you that pose that you originally had pasted at 25, move that move that to 30, you can start playing around with that. I don't know what's happening with the head there. It's buzzing out a bit. Let's check out the graph editor. Is everything all right there? Seems all right. Yeah, that seems fine. So just like that, you can start delaying other areas. So then you can look at the arms. You can be like, okay, well, remember that keyframe there we have, that was the original one that we took from the last two frames. Then that's what you start playing around with. So then you're like, all right, I'm on the arm. Maybe I want the wrist to be a bit more delayed so I can bring that back. And then that original pose that we talked about, we can move that bit, start playing with the timing. You know, see how that feels. And then maybe we could, the forearm as well, like maybe have that moving up. So there's a more of a moving hold. And then it was just, it's all done. It's just a matter of going back and forth. Like you might think, all right, there's too much, there's too much, too much movement there. So maybe you want to make that a bit more subtle. Then you just play. Maybe bring that up. And it's just a matter of going back and forth and see what feels right. So it could be like up. Or you could just middle click that. And bring it down. There. So, I mean, you could, there's so many variables, like you could go into the graph editor here and just start tweaking this a bit more, making it a bit less, making it a bit more subtle. So as you can see there, and then you might want to add a bit more movement in the forearm because it feels disconnected. So then you just move that up slightly. And then if that jerks around, you can delete the key before, see how that feels. And that's all it is, is a matter of just going back and forth. You might want to just play around. It's a bit of movement there, which there. So if you check that, so if we have a, like a, just an example of that pose favoring. So let's go back. So yeah, so you start so you start off with the keyframe there, middle, and then back, and then in between, you can start playing around, delaying. So you could come here, you could be like, all right, I want to delay this. And then as I come forward, I want to delay this a bit more. And then as I come as I come forward here, delay it. Delay it and then maybe move this back a bit. So they can get a bit funny sometimes. There. 
and then just delay this uh, move this forward don't know why the rig keeps doing that there there so you're getting like And you're getting a bit of a delay in the arms as well. So one arm is coming in here. And obviously you, you want to polish this a bit more because it's a bit. But then what you can do is, even at the start, like say if you got this hole here, maybe you want to hold this pose a bit. So let's say we go four frames in. Hmm, I like that pose. Middle click that, bring it all the way to 14. So you've got a hold here and then it quickly goes into it. And this is the principle of ease in and ease out kind of, which, which is what I'm trying to show here. And then here you can add a breakdown. And then here you can add a breakdown. You might even want to move the head down. Make the arm go back a bit. So guys, so you, so guys, you have a character. So we have a character here, and we've got a pose, breakdown, pose. Now the the whole point of this exercise is just to show. Okay, which frame do I want to favour? I'll be like, I'll, okay, from this frame to this frame, from twenty to forty, I want to hold this pose, the end one, right? Do I want to hold it with minimum movement or a lot? If you want a lot, then what you do is from the end pose, you go back, say, I don't know, let's go back five frames, 44. So in Maya, what you can do is you can, you can middle click. Uh, sorry, a bit of lighting there. You can middle click uh, 34 and bring it back to say 29. And it will copy that frame at 24 to 29. And now if we play it now, you see it goes into that pose quicklier and it's quick, quickly sorry and there's a bit of a hold right there so the character still feels alive because in cg obviously we don't want the characters to stop dead there's always some kind of movement so we know the characters and it just looks wrong in cg you can get away with it in uh stop motion and traditional but in cg unless you have some kind of hand or eye thinking movement you know something there it just doesn't look right so that's one way yeah that you can hold it and this is a, this is an example of the bouncing ball with the ease in and the ease out this is how it relates to a pose as well so this is like take that theory which is so fundamental as i talk about on my course the bouncing ball is absolutely fundamental to everything this is a perfect example of the bouncing ball of easing in and easing out but everything is happening at the same time at the moment but this is like the bases so you know that's a pretty cool hold and if you want to i can delete this and be like all right i want the pose to a bit more tighter so say if you come to the end there and you'll be like all right let's see what 39 looks like 37 maybe 37 so if we if we select everything which we have and we middle click it to 29 key everything key rotation see that's a bit quicker so it's like huh what's going on there it's a bit quicker right and then of course what you can do is once you've got that basis down then you can start coming in and be like all right i want to delay the head a bit more so you can come in straight ahead with the animation because you've got that basis you go all right let me delay the head and then obviously that 
place where we keyframe the original pose, you can start moving that forward slightly and be like, you know, I want this rig sometimes judders for some reason, but um, let's see. And then, yeah, see the head is the bit delayed now. So it, it turns first the hips move, then the head turns. So then you can just go around and start playing with all the other parts, the arms, because at the moment, obviously everything's going at the same time. But then you can start playing with the wrists. So then, so, you know, just for example's sake, you can come in and be like, all right, let me delete this. Actually not delete that key, that original key that I had there. Let me move it forward a bit. So it's delayed, right? And then you could be like, all right, when I come here, I want the wrist to just still be delayed, right? And now if we see now, there's a bit of a delay there, right? Then you can delay that a bit more, the, the, the original key, that looks a bit, doesn't look right. So we can go back. So it's just a matter of back and forth. And as you can see there, you're starting to get a bit more of a delay and then a cushion going up and then coming down, which you can mind, which you can in the graph editor, you can refine that as much as you like. You know, you can bring that up, down, however, you could ease it in. So there's a bit of an ease in there coming in. And then here you could be like, okay, I want to make it a bit more softer. So you could rise it. So it's a bit softer, it eases into it. And then you may want to, then you can, some people, well, you could bring it up a bit. So there's a bit of overshoot, see? As you can see in the wrist there, it goes up, then comes in. So once you've got those, once you've figured out, so you say you select all of the keys and, and like we are talking earlier, earlier, once you find a pose that you like and you want to favor, copy that middle clicker, copy it to the middle, and then see how the timing is. If it's hold, if you want it, if you think it's holding how you want it to, and then, then you work from there. Then, then you start working the arms saying, all right, I could delay that a bit more. Maybe bring that in a bit more. And then you can start playing with the original pose where you had it play with the timing. There. And that's that's basically a little exercise that uh, I, or a little practice that I have, sorry, when I'm trying to favor a po pose or hold a pose. I normally block all the poses in and then I'll be like, all right, let me see between this pose and this pose. I can put a breakdown in. Okay, do I want to hold this pose more or this pose more? All right, let me pick two or three frames out of that pose that I want to favor, copy it move it like a four or five frames back, see how that feels. If you want to hold it longer, move it back in the timing more. So that's all you're doing back and forth. And I find that, and even do this as a little exercise, like back and forth, like the breakdown exercise we did. But obviously this, the breakdown was different. We were trying to find different ways of how one character, character can get from one pose to another. With this one, this is more to do with, you've got your pose, breakdown, pose, and then you're, you're like, okay, from the breakdown to the key pose, I want to favor the breakdown pose more, or I want to favor the keyframe pose more. And then once you've found out what pose you want to favor, then you can go in separately, check the arms out. So yeah, that's just a little exercise that you can do where you can just put a keyframe, breakdown keyframe, and then between the breakdown and keyframe, just find out what poses you want to favor, uh, copy the pose, and then start looking at it and working straight ahead and look at that, maybe the head first, say, all right, I want to delay the head, add a bit of cushion at the end. You could do the arms as well. So it's a, it's, it's a bit more of a systematic way of working. Uh, if it works for you, fine, you know, it's the end result you want to see, right? But this is one kind of method I have been using uh, because in a studio I'm working at, sometimes they want animations really quickly and you just got to knock them out really quickly. So this kind of method works well when I'm doing that. So I hope you find that video of some help 
If you do, please hit that like button, subscribe, and thank you for all your support. So yes, so uh, I'll see you in the next video, but in the meantime, happy animating and have fun animating.